today we are going to discuss the differences between hypoglycemic and diabetic coma diabetes mellitus commonly known as diabetes is a metabolic disorder characterized by high blood glucose presented with excessive thrust frequent urination extreme hunger unexplained weight loss and sometime patient of diabetes mellitus presented with coma there are two types of coma in a diabetic patient one is hypoglycemic coma other is diabetic coma hypoglycemic coma is most likely due to drugs patient is taking either oral anti diabetic drug or patient taking insulin while diabetic coma consists of two entity either it is diabetic ketotic coma diabetic ketoacidosis or hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state previously called is hyperosmolar non ketotic coma hyperosmolar non ketotic coma commonly occur in type 2 diabetes mellitus and commonly in elderly patient while type 1 diabetic diabetes mellitus commonly occurs in young individual and diabetic ketoacidosis common in type 1 diabetes mellitus let us discuss what are the differences between hypoglycemic and diabetic coma patient presented with coma in the emergency department how can you differentiate either he or she is suffering from diabetic coma or from hypoglycemic coma hypo glycemic and diabetic coma first we take history patient is brought by his relative by his friends and colleagues patient is unconscious you will take a strip from them if is strip proven that patient using insulin patient using insulin regularly but patient miss food then think about hypoglycemic coma patient is taking too much insulin insulin dose regularly but patient did not take his lunch or dinner patient miss his food then think about hypoglycemic coma in case of diabetic coma patient using insulin patient using little insulin but taking food regularly 
patient is taking food regularly but patient is miss is insulin dose so think about diabetic coma patient with hypoglycemic coma commonly presented with nausea palpitation and sweating before e or she become unconscious she or e will complain of nausea palpitation sweating in case of hypoglycemic but in case of diabetic coma before e or she become unconscious e or she will presented with vomiting and abdominal pain frequent vomiting and abdominal pain in case of diabetic coma while in case of hypoglycemic coma vomiting is less frequent mostly patient presented with nausea palpitation sweating light headedness what are the precipitating factor in case of hypoglycemic coma the precipitating factor is vigorous exercise on a custom exercise patient is done while in case of diabetic coma underlying occult iron infection inflammation and in parkshan memorize 3 i remember 3 i underlying occult iron infection inflammation and in parkshan what are the clinical sign you are going to look to differentiate between hypoglycemic and diabetic coma clinical sign in case of hypoglycemic coma there is no signs of dehydration it is very important you will not get sign of dehydration in case of hypoglycemic coma but in case of diabetic coma you will get sign of dehydration a patient skin and tongue are dry pulse weak patient bp is low then think about diabetic coma a patient skin and tongue are moist pulse is bounding bp is normal then think about hypoglycemic coma if there is sign of dehydration think for diabetic coma if there is no sign of dehydration think for hypoglycemic coma what about the breathing in case of hypoglycemic coma there will be normal breathing there will be no smell of breath but in case of diabetic coma 
there will be cast molds breathing rapid shallow breathing and there will be simil up acetone in the breath simil up acetone in case of diabetic ketoacidosis reflexes in case of hypoglycemic coma exaggerated while reflexes in case of diabetic coma diminished planters are extensor in case of hypoglycemic coma planters are flexor are don't going in case of diabetic coma these are the clinical sign you look for differentiation between hypoglycemic and diabetic coma sign up dehydration present or absent sign up dehydration present think for diabetic coma sign up dehydration absent think for hypoglycemic coma normal breathing reflexes exaggerated planter up going think for hypoglycemic there is abnormal breathing cosmol breathing there is reflexes diminished planter don't going think for diabetic coma then we will do certain investigation we will do urine examination in case of hypoglycemic coma no glucose no ketone in case of diabetic coma urine examination revealed glucose presence of glucose and presence of ketones then you will take blood sample if blood sample shows in case of hypoglycemia glucose will be low serum blood glucose will be low bicarbonate serum bicarbonate and ph within normal limit in case of hypoglycemic coma serum blood glucose will be low lower than normal limit and serum bicarbonate and ph within normal limit while in case of diabetic coma serum blood glucose will be i will be raised and there will be bicarbonate reduced serum bicarbonate and reduce ph serum bicarbonate will be reduced ph will be reduced in case of diabetic coma these are the differential points between hypoglycemic and diabetic coma
इज इट क्लियर